All right, guys. I am not kidding around. We are live right now playing Soul Hunters. And this is going to be exciting as fuck. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Worst Every Gamer. And I do not kid around when I tell you the brand new hero. This dude right now is a mother freaking beast. Oh, my God. I just got done recording my awakening video for this guy, finished him today, and uh, I cannot tell you how excited I am that I finished this guy because he is insane, oh my god, he's such a beast, god damn it, I was wetting my pants as I was recording guys, you will see me drooling in my recording, so be on the lookout for the video of this guy, it's insane, it's gonna be so awesome, wait until you see this guy in the arena, god damn it, he's so good! Holy hell! So let's take a look at what happened with his awakening, right? Because I just finished it right now. So Lava Burst is his awakening. So let me work on it two more times here. Now take a look at exactly what this does. The lava containing that that's contained in his belly, you can see it. It's it's, it's in his freaking belly right there. Um, burst uh, burst out, dealing damage to enemies that are attacking Petros. From in front of him. Alright, so he's got to be hit from in front. That's kind of a little catch. Depending on who's attacking him, alright? The damage dealt by this ability is greater once Petros has taken a certain amount of damage. Alright, and then it says deals a base damage of 1,100 deflective damage. This ability deflects damage that's getting hit to him. This changes this guy completely. His ability, this ability changes him from being just an HP tank, which he's got insanely amount of HP, as you can see, going into his stats, 51,000 HP at 5 stars, plus another, another 19,000, it's insane, and I haven't maxed this ability out, which I will do right now, so, actually, let me go do that right now, wow, you, yo, I am insanely, it's insanely stoked about this dude, so every when he gets hit he deflects damage and uh so just think about it this dude is an hp beast he's got so much hp he can just take so many hits the more hits he takes the more damage that he's going to reflect obviously it's going to do a lot of damage i tried him in the arena oh my god the results were phenomenal i can't wait how insane this guy really is dude two attacks Two victories that I just tried him in. And this guy does the most damage. Wow. Wowzers, Bowsers. Am I excited? Hang on, hang on. Let, let me just max this one out real quick, guys. Because I want to take a look. God damn it, this is going to take forever. I want to see exactly, you know, how much damage he's going to do. I'm just going to do a little bit of everything here. Got more! I should have done this during my awakening video. So I could have fast forwarded and sound like a chipmunk. Wait, I don't even have these good ones no more. God. Oh. You know what? It might be time to use some purple stuff. 59 of these. Let's use like 9 of those. Because I got so many. 52. Let's use 2. 52. Use 2. 65. Holy hell. Let's use 5 of those. 6. Yeah, 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 a bunch. bunch of these. A bunch of these. Alright. Sweet. Sweet this. Sweet this. That's done. Let's go, boy. Alright. That's finished. Let's go back to my boy here. Let's see what the total HP is going to be here. Total HP, 51 plus 20,000. Oh, wow. Oh, God, I freaking love this guy. I will literally. All right, and don't forget, I put also this one on him. So this kind of makes a little bit of difference. Plus 600 health, which is not a lot. Uh, it's not really a lot at all. First things first, Arena. Let's take a look. We have dropped two spots down by who? By R.A. Something. Natasha or some shit. So let's see how far we can get up, guys. How about this one? Let's try it. Fifth place. Fifth place. I was using this team before. Let's see what this is going to do. Let's give it a shot. We got Volko. We got Oricon. Pretty much your typical arena team here. Late game. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, Volko is in the back. He's hitting Sylphie, though. Crap! Don't die, Sylphie! Okay, here we go. Got an ultimate up. Shit! Falco got his ultimate. That's not good. And we are frozen in time. Frozen in time. 
ultimate from Garik here. Come on, come on, come on. This volcano eruption is great. Wait a minute, I gotta move out the way so you guys can see. Take a look at his HP, because he survives for a good amount of time here. Ultimate from Mario, good job. Alright, three down. What? Is anybody left here? Who am I facing? I can't even tell who's alive. Oh, Oricon. I'm not even using my Oricon. Victory! What did I tell you, man? This dude is so freaking nasty, dude. God freaking damn it. Look at the damage! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! And that is not even maxed out. That that last ability changes this guy at all, man. If you remember me getting him on the first day, I'm like, he's not doing that much damage. This ability completely changes him. This team is working out so good for me. I got dropped down, but with this team, I have not lost yet. So I'm going to change. No Volco needed, no Oricon needed. It's just working so good. Uh, my Mario, and the weird thing is, is these guys are not even maxed out that good. I am in place to hit number one. I can actually hit number one in the arena here. We'll see that in a little bit later, guys. Holy fuck, that's sick. The hell is this? Invisican. God damn it, Invisi Company got cheap as fuck, guys. They sent me Invisican. Why would you send me a can? Where's my regular bottles, yo? Wow. Petros is insane, guys. This dude is literally, right now, uh, my favorite hero in the game overall. I can't tell you how excited I am that I got this dude to, like, awaken. This just does so much deflective damage. It's It changes, this changes everything for him. It's probably the best awakening that they could have given. Yeah, this is definitely the best awakening that they could have given him. There's no other better awakening they could have given this guy because he's got a lot of HP. And you don't need him to deal more damage. You just need him to reflect that HP onto your enemies and it's sick. Alright, let's go on here, the guys. Now, let's go on. Let's do some other things here. Some tanky me jingies. Oh, first of all. Let me just quickly apologize for being so goddamn late, guys. What is it? 5 o'clock till I began. Um, I apologize. I'm very late. I had to stay a little bit after at work. And then I come. I came home. And then I had to record the awakening video for Petros, which takes a little bit of time. You know, so it took me some time to do it all. But uh, I didn't want to not stream for you guys. So here I am. Here I am. On the road again. Are we doing some Art of Conquest? Yes, I am. If you can tell in the title, it says Art of Conquest after this. But it's going to have to be cut a little bit short. So I'm going to do short Soul Hunters and a short Art of Conquest. Because Art of Conquest, I don't have much to do uh, other than some things. So it's not going to be a long one. Not like yesterday when we were sieging for like two hours. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... If you guys didn't know, if you're sieging, it takes a long time, man. Trying to take over a big castle takes a long, long time. Anyways, we are in the Heroic Academy now. We have to work on this guy because I need to max this dude out. Where's Dicky? Yo, to, to be honest, Dicky is still downstairs. But I will definitely have him here next stream. I promise you. I keep forgetting to get him because my aunt is down there with her husband. And I don't really go down there much to see them, which sounds weird because I see them every day because they come upstairs, but I don't really go down there. I feel like that's their own private spot and I don't really want to invade. It's like going into somebody's bedroom. I don't feel right, but I forgot Dickie in there. My poor Dickie. They're probably fucking around with him. No, they're using him as some kind of a toy. Damn it. I've left him down there for too long. I got to get him out, guys. I've got to get him out. He's digging in the basement. Yeah, he's stuck in the basement with my freaking aunt and her husband. All right, guys. So let's go ahead, take a look what we're gonna work here, because these are give him. Uh, these will give him a pretty good bonus, man. Energy efficiency. Let's go with efficiency, guys. Always, always efficient. I am always on the efficiency. Okay, go, go, go. All right. So efficiency there. Increase hit recovery or increase spell recovery time. Oh, God damn it. Spell recovery time, hit recovery. These ones, I really don't even know what to fucking do here. 
Spell recovery, hit recovery. Normally, I think I'm pretty sure I go with spell recovery time. <laughs> but hit recovery, I don't know. Whatever, we got another city today. We'll talk about that, noob. I saw that you actually got another city, bro. Good shit. You are the man. Good work. Better it... Uh, oh, worst. It is better to go with bonus for arena heroes. Ah, I got you, bro. But this guy is one of the best arena heroes in the game. Right now, he might be the best arena hero in the game. Academy for Mariel. Mariel? Oh, uh, it's right there, bro. It's zero. I haven't even worked on Mariel at all in the Academy. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, I haven't worked on Mariel at all. So, anyways, let's keep going, guys. I'm going to go Spell Recovery here. You know, let's do that. And one more. All right, next one here. Physical Armor, Magic Armor, uh, Frontline Tank. Most likely frontline tanks take a lot of physical arm. I feel like they take a lot of physical hits. But to be sure, I want to take a look at what is major, you know what I'm saying, defensive uh, boost is. And then I will go from there. So let's see. Defense. Physical armor, 1,800. Magic armor, 1,500. But take a look at the bonuses. 700 bonus magic armor, 400 bonus. So in total, it's exactly pretty much the same. Literally, it's exactly the same. So you can go with either one. God damn it. That doesn't make it easy for me at all. I'm going to go with physical. Because I, I just... My tanks, I usually like to go with physical. Since they're in the front, they take a lot of basic attacks as well. Your backliners take a lot of special attacks. Your, phys, uh, your frontliners take most of the basic attacks. It all depends, really. Increase physical hit bonus. Increase max health. Oh, yeah. We are increasing max health. Because the more health, the more deflective damage for this dude... So that's what I'm going with. And then increase ability level, increase physical toughness, increase yeah, ability level always. Wow, I wonder how much better this will make him, dude. I really wonder. So let's go. Next page, boys. Next page. Increase dodge, increase healing ratio. You know what I'm going to go with that. This guy does not. Petros is not. It's not worth. Petro. Huh? Petros not worth it? Have you not watched the beginning of the stream, bro? Uh, Dylan, if you haven't watched the beginning, you were missed out. And wait until his Awakening video comes out to see if he's worth it or not, bro. Just wait. I am telling you, just wait. Increase physical pierce rating. Increase physical crit. Um, Crit, pierce. I'm going to go with... Wait a minute. Dylan, were you talking to Pedro? Ha ha ha. Hey, man, is it worth to awaken Solomon and Dalton? Oh, I completely misunderstood. My bad, Dylan. My bad. You were talking to Pedro. <laughs> I completely misunderstood, but now I understand. It's all good. It's all good. I thought you were talking about Petro. Petro. You were talking about to, you were talking to Pedro. Come on, man. Don't confuse me like that. Because increase uh, health recovery, increase physical attack, increase physical crit damage. I'm going to go with health recovery. Uh, I'm going to do it, guys. I don't give a damn. Anything, all his abilities are going to go for health. Anything health, I'm, I'm I'm working on health for him. That's it. Increase kill bonus resistance. Increase chance of resisting silence. Hmm. Kill bonus resistance? What does that fucking mean? Kill bonus resistance. Uh, physical crit damage. Health recovery sucks. What? No, bro. Why do you guys say health recovery sucks? First of all, physical crit damage. Are you sure about that, man? I feel like he's physical. Silence won't affect him. Uh, yes, yeah, silence does affect him. Uh, once you're silenced, you can't use any of your abilities. So even if you're physical or magic, once you're silenced, you cannot use an ability. I don't know if you knew that. Your ultimate. So... Silence does affect you a lot, but it affects magic heroes a lot more. You can always change it. I know I can change it, but I want to take a look. I want to see your uh, academy for Mariel. God damn it, bro. I don't. I haven't worked on Mariel at all. She's zero. I have not worked on Mariel. Take a look. Nothing. 
which is kind of even more stranger because I'm killing it in the arena and she has not been worked on much at all and she's missing a lot of her items. So she's a really good arena hero. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, the ability that don't get affected silent by silence. There's some abilities that don't get affected by some. Sure, sure, you're right. Uh, what's up? First time making it live. Brian Banks, what's up, my boy? Double B in the building. What's up, B Banks? Your boy Banks is in the house. <laughs> Shut up and dance with me. All right, bro, let's do it. Hell recovery is just the HP you get at the end of the wave, unless in the arena. Oh! All right, then forget that shit. Let's switch for 1,000 of everything. Why not? All right, so we switch in that. Not silence. Let's go with kill resistance here. Because I don't really... I'm not really fearing silence too much. You don't really see that many silence teams in the arena. The only others... There's only a few heroes that actually silence at the time. Um, well, Sylphie is a great, you know, one of them that silences. Osiris silences... There's actually one more that I was thinking about. God damn it, who was it? Oh, Aerial Silences, but that's about it. And most of those heroes, you don't really see that much, so... Best team before Awakening? Before Awakening? I don't know. Hmm. But I know Magic Resistance? Magic Toughness. Yo, what the hell is the resistance? What is the difference between Toughness and Resistance? Resistance... I'm pretty sure... I don't know how the algorithms work, to be honest, but Resistance... Does it just take your um, magic defense and apply to their magic attack? You know what I'm saying? And take the difference and then toughness maybe takes some kind of percentage away. I don't know. I think like toughness goes by percentage. Resistance goes by just straight up defense. Your magic defense. So, I don't know. Health and energy recovery are the bonuses you get at the end of health and energy recovery at the end of battle. Cool and crucible useless in the arena. So energy recovery is bad too, you're saying? Are you exactly sure? First time live stream. Peter B -b 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 Beckett. What's up, Peter man? Welcome to the stream, bro. I'm gonna have a drink for you and my brand new uh Invisi can. These fuckers, they trying to screw me over. They stopped giving me Invisi bottles, they gave me Invisi can. The cheap fucks. Come on! Send me some Invisi bottles! They're getting cheap on me, man. <laughs> What's up, David, yo? What's going on? How's the cute baby? Yo, the baby's awesome. I can hear him over there crying like a little baby. <laughs> Alright, increased magic toughness. I'm gonna just go with resistance, guys. It doesn't really... I don't think it's a big difference. But let's just go with resistance. Alright, so if you talk... If you're... If I get this right, so you're saying energy efficiency, energy... Increased energy bonus. So you're saying instead of... If you go with efficiency, um, this will only apply when you are at the end of waves. Uh, magic resistance 2 is resistance crit magic. Ah, but energy, so then if I want them in the arena, I should use energy bonus. Alright, let's swap this just for the shits and giggles, guys. Um, Next thing's next, I want to burn some stuff over here. Let's burn... Um, who the hell am I going to burn here? Let's burn. Wow, I got a lot of Sumikos. So let's burn 500 Sumikos. There she goes, burning in hell. And then, that should be okay for now. Alright, that's okay for now. Let's do this, guys. Can we go for number one here? But he's got five star. Ah, This is going to be tough because this dude is rocking a five star Petros as well, Awakened. So, shit balls to the wall, guys. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get number one spot with this team. Can we do it? Can we get number one spot with this team right here? Is it possible? Let's see if it's in the freaking works. Because Twin Banana, all these heroes are completely maxed out. If you guys didn't already know. Oh, oh there goes Sylphie. She's dead. I'm pretty much screwed. I have no hope. Yeah, this guy, it's impossible. This dude is strong as fuck. Yeah. Damn it. That's a pretty good team there as well, guys. Especially if you max them out all the way. Son of a gun. But, as you can see, Petros is clearly going to be one of the most damage dealers in the freaking game. By far. And we have a uh, Hall of Legend today too. Kong, let's see. 
if I can use him during calling and see if he can make a big difference. Whoa, look at this. Our teaming did really well. All right, let's do dojos. Get these out of the way really quickly. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Energy reduces the amount of energy you need to cast an ultimate. Good in arena. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Energy recovery just gives you energy at the end of the battle. Oh, what the? That's what I wanted. Energy efficiency. Best heroes before awakening then. Oh, best heroes before you start awakening? Man, I'll have to do a complete separate video on that. Because what happens is once you awaken, once you start awakening, then it changes. Your game will change at level 90, guys. So just to let you know right now. So a lot of people are newer to the games. Once you hit level 90 and you start awakening, your game is going to change completely. Depending on who you go. So... You know what I'm saying? Depending on who you start your awakening first. That will make or break you in the arena for a while, to be honest. So you got to be careful who you want to awaken first. A lot of people make a mistake. You know, they probably... Uh, it all depends on who you want to awaken first. But if you make a mistake and you awaken the wrong hero and you're... You know, some guys are awakening a stronger arena hero, you're kind of screwed. Let me just bang these out real quick here. And I'm in the works. Believe me, you guys. I'm in the works of doing... Uh, top 10 awakening hero you know what i mean so you guys can kind of get a feel of which heroes you should really concentrate on first at an earlier level i don't mind a video for that so let me see there is a lot of heroes right now um if i'm gonna you know i was have I wanted to make the video not including Petros, but I'm going to include uh, Petros now as well. Sylphie by far. Sylphie is very good, obviously. Uh, but I, I think Petros might be your best bet. And it all depends on what you're trying to do, guys. Let's be honest. If you're trying to do... If you're trying to be a beast in your Hall of Legend, in your raids, then Vernos might be your number one guy. Literally. You could go with Vernos as your number one guy and get a really head start in the raids, in the Hall of Legends, over everybody. Because that dude is so useful in a lot of those. Uh, if you want to, you know, be a killer in the arena, then probably if you have Petros or Volko, Orkan, there's a lot of choices now. So, it makes it really hard. Damn, it makes it really hard. You guys have some tough choices. You guys just starting the game, man. I do not envy you right now. The choices are real, man. Real hard. Sometimes I think about it, sometimes I got the itch, this was before, not now, I got the itch to start a, a new, you know, a, a brand new series, like a start over series, just for fun, uh, and then I realized I got no time whatsoever, so that can't do that, and then also I realized, yo, this shit is no joke, it's really tough to do a start over series, ooh, another one started chapter 15. Who do I want to get in line for? Or oh, I'm already in line for staff. Alright, let's stay there. Okay, what's going on here? 8 million with... Look at the same exact lineups for a reason. These lineups work really, really sickly great. Goran Vernus, Thor. I think I might already have that saved up there. Nope. Uh, Garic, Vernos, Gorum, and Lingling. Yep. That one is kind of like stuck in my brain because I already know this is the same exact team that does number one spot for your uh, the boss in chapter 15 as well. So, Andy from Texas, weather is bad. Yo, Carson, what's going on, dude? I'm hearing a lot of crazy things down in Texas. What's happening with the weather, bro? Fill me in, man. Keep me updated. I'm always curious to know what's happening down there because I feel really bad for you guys. Oh, what the? Misclick. Misclick. Ugh. I wonder, remove Elric and Flora. Oh, you guys are helping out somebody else. That's cool. Yeah, you guys can always ask questions. If I don't get to them because I'm looking down at my game, uh, there's plenty of good players here, man. Trust me, plenty of really good players that can definitely help you out. Because sometimes it's really hard. It's like 190 people watching, so it's really hard for me to, you know what I mean, get in contact with each one of you guys. Woo! Three things drop. Nice. So when that happens, you guys will have to kind of... Next one here. 
Ooh, all right, let's see if it's a different team here. So as you can see, it's a completely, not a completely different team, only one change. So we're going to take out him and we're going to put in Soraya. Soraya, Soraya, Soraya. Multiple targets, Soraya does a lot of good damage. She's got her uh, boomerang, you know, thing that she throws around. That thing does a lot of physical damage to everybody. And then her ultimate also does magic damage to everybody. So she does a good amount of damage to multiple targets. And then the difference with uh, Fallen that you saw there is if it's a single target, he gives you haste plus he poisons them. So it does damage over time. So he's got damage over time, gives you haste. Uh, so it's usable in a lot of different ways. All right, let's use that here. Go. But everybody else, as you can see, it's kind of the same, guys. So earlier level, guys, you want to do good in the raids. Gorum, Vernos, Garik, Ling Ling. Those heroes, work on them for your uh, raiding. And then there's a lot of other heroes that you should be working on as well. But for your raids, these will do pretty good. Gorum, you never really need to use his ultimate. You save more time not using it. I think it does even better, to be honest. All right, let's finish off this here. And go! Another one here. Okay. So now at this point, you really don't need the shield from uh, Ling Ling. So at this point, what you can do is use Ling Ling, but double, you can click on her ability right away. You don't have to waste time waiting for her ability because I'm going to use Gorm now. Um... You don't need the shield because of the freeze from uh, Vernos' plants here. Yes, I got the Staff of Illumination that I needed there. That's really good. Is Awakening Gorik any good? Yes, bro! Have you not been paying attention to me? Gorik is a freaking beast! 5 million. That's not that good. Look at Vernos' damage, 2 million. And look at Soraya's damage. Only 4 stars. So, really good. Alright, that's them too wasted. What was the highest here? 7 million. Fuck, I was kind of close. We got 2 million away, but... Alright, so we are in line for that. We will get that right away. Really cool. Really cool. Alright, mercenary camp. Let's take you out. Let's put... Um, who should we put in? I don't know. Uh, whatever, put you back in. You know what? Let me see. Who are we facing this week, boys? Oh, we're already working on it. Um, stealth bombers, the stealth bombers, kaboom! <laughs> oh, I love their announcement. Stealth bomber, uh, guild master Trixius. Trixius, announcement, guys. The guild is tuning in for the announcement. They're patiently waiting what the leader is gonna write, and then he writes kaboom, and they're all go crazy. The stealth bombers go crazy. They are suicidal, man. They are ready to they give up their life for the good of the community. Fuck, I got dropped by this dude. Mm, we got about a minute. We can attack him back. Okay, okay. Oh, I haven't even checked this out yet. What is this? Oh, this is the uh, purchases of um, Sunday. Wow, that's actually some pretty cool things here. What is this? Orange equipment. Ruin stones. And this one is a Celestial Potion for 70 bucks. This one will give you the Awakening item. Oh my god. Oh! I just fucked up. Oh my god. Look at this. I had two quests that I was supposed to freaking start one of them right now. And I done fucked up. Why must I do this? <coughs> Fuck me, man. Right in the vision, dude. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna think about this now. How did I forget this? Son of a donkey penis. Fuck, man. I wanted my goal. Oh, god damn it. The plan was to start Dalton because today is Sunday, which means I could have done the dojo five times. And then next time it would be open either, I was hoping it would be open tomorrow or Tuesday. And I would have been done with Dalton. Yep, I did it. I did it, man. I done done it. Um, I couldn't have, I, even doing Enrique, uh, I will look at loot in one second, bro. 
Opening, I mean, starting Enrique back up is not good. Was not really, doesn't really change anything because Bountiful Caverns, I needed for Petrol. So that was already done. So it doesn't really change Enrique. That sucks. My only other option now, guys, is believe it or not, I could, I could begin. Where is she? My last hero here, which is Sumiko. Oh, actually, she's not even orange, but I could fuse her right now. I could begin Sumiko and start her items right away, but I really don't want to. I think I'm actually... You know what I'm going to do? I might just do... Oh wait, let me get this. I might just do this this purchase right here of $69.98. Do that purchase, get the Celestial Potion, and then use that for when I need it. Bye. 49. So, alright, let's do it. Hang on. Let's close this up here, boys. Let me put my password in. Alright, let's do it. Let's buy that real quick here. Which is not cool, because I was not planning on spending money in this game today. But they forced me. They forced my freaking hand. By giving me these options. Alright. So there we go. I did it. I bought the $49.99 and I bought the $21. So two of them. That should be enough. Yes. Perfect. Alright, boys. We got a lot more gold, which I don't really need. A lot more gold tickets, which I don't really need. Uh, we did get some orange equipment, some purple equipment, some more good stuff. The only good thing out of this is that potion, yo. To be honest, the only thing that I really need... Yeah, that's the only thing I need is this... Um, celestial potion which but I'm not gonna use it just yet I'm waiting for a really nice hero to use it on I do have a lot of these which I can use on those not yet I still don't have any Gaia stones wait a minute how far I because this also gives you no it doesn't I think yesterday gave you Gaia stones right yes this but that's 200 bucks for Gaia stones fuck that hell no hell no all right my diamond chest tickets, I haven't refreshed yet because I haven't really needed to. I have every hero that I could possibly get from there, so it's really no point. Okay. What to do first? What to do first? Mm. Alright, let me take a look at the loots real quick. Loot tips from your boys. What are you guys trying to tell me? Anything interesting or no? Let's see. This thing takes forever to load, man. Ever since I moved from the basement, it's been not cool. Alright, first things first. From... Wait a minute. Did I miss this from last week? Uh, I don't know when this one was sent, but it says from Austin. Hey, Andy, I went on a date with my girlfriend yesterday. And by the way, for Kong, what team do you use? Alright, so you went on a date with your girlfriend. That's interesting. That's what you're supposed to do, bro. Go on dates with your girl. I don't know why that was news, but... Alright. And uh, for Kong, what team do you use? I don't really have a specific team for Kong. But um, what I don't do is... I never use Kong versus Sylphie. Alright, don't do it. She will use the shadows against you. The clone. So, <laughs> whenever you see Sylphie, that's why Kong is not that great right now because Sylphie is killing it everywhere. So, you don't use you don't use her. Um, but, uh, there's no specific team, bro. Just use them whenever you need some physical attacks, some distractions. Normally, I like to use them versus uh, opponents who are using single target damage. You know, so they can hit the clones instead. Uh, Kara would be a good counter. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Anyways, next one, Ares the Oblivious, uh, Oblivious Reaper. Upgrade Mariel and Raymond and Garic if you haven't in the academy. Hmm, yes, yes, I could do that. But I'm I'm still waiting. Um, I like to save up my points, my uh, academy, you know what I mean, resources for a really, you know, strong hero like Petros. That dude is a beast. So I like to somehow wait for them. Next one, Ares again. Upgrade Mariel and Raymond and Garic. Wait a minute, that's the one I just freaking read. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I'm waiting for for probably a better, a better, not a better hero, but I'm going to see where my resources are at. So, for now, I'm okay. 
Don't need to rush that. What I do need, what I do need to do is, uh, what are, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? Damn it, I'm so pissed, dude. If I start this dude now, it'll take me the whole week just to do it. If I start this one, it'll take me the same time, about a week, just to do it. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna start her. I made up my mind. We are going to begin the awakening for Subiko. What do I use here? Sage wands. Yeah, nothing that I don't have. So let's go ahead. Boom. There we go. Sumiko is orange now. I can actually go to... Damn, can I fuse her all the way to orange plus two? Very close. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to start her awakening now. The only reason why I'm doing hers now is because if I waited for the other two, it would have taken me all week. So... I really didn't want to wait a week. Let's go. What? Did I just use my celestial potion? Did it just force me to use my celestial potions? Are you serious right now, dude? It just did it. Did does it automatically do that or did I just hit yo? I have to refresh it. I think I I mean I got to rewind my stream later and check it out. I think that shit just asked me to use my celestial potion. They asked if you want to use it. Damn it! Fuck me! Oh! I'm fucking up big time right now, man. Oh! Dude! I didn't want to do that. Oh. I really just wanted to get her, like, spend the next eight days getting her shit. And then save that celestial potion for when, a, you know, the next hero comes out so I could have got him right away. Uh, why must I freaking rush into everything I do in life? Why must I be so clumsy? Damn! Because now I can't even do this. I have to wait. <sighs> Buy new one. They don't even have one, bro. Look, I mean, they'll have one next week, I guess. I can spend more money, but why spend more when I could have just fucking had one? Damn it all. All right, well, that sucks. Either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to see what's open tomorrow, guys. So this doesn't mean anything. I can stop either one of them. If, if, if either one of these are open, I'm going to start. Title Temple is open. I'll start um, Enrique if... Dwarven Forge is open, I'll start Sumiko. And if it so happens that the bloody arena is open, I will start the other chick. Anyways, that sucks. Well, them goes the brakes. Son of a donkey penis. That sucks. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is let's let's I have to just sweep one one of these just to do the daily. Alright, that's done. And then, only thing left pretty much is Crucible of Fire, so we're good with that. Hall of Legend, boys. Let us begin doing some Hall of Legend. So it looks like Top Dog is 6.9. That's our boy, um, Arc Light. But what the fuck T kind of team are we going to use here? I have no clue what type of team is best for Kong, because I don't think I've preset it. No, I haven't preset it. So we're going to have to wing it. We're going to have to wing it. And it's not these guys, that's for sure. But I really want to try Petros. So I'm going to see what Petros can do, boys. I want to see what Petros can do. And I got to rush this, man. Hurry up. Give me some good teams, guys. I got to rush this because I'm going out for ice cream with uh, with some people. <laughs> Best thing in the early game. Timing of the... Wait, early timing of the game. Best tank in the early timing of the... It depends, bro. Pay to... Uh, like, have you, do you pay at all? Or free to play? Zem, Silphy, Jasmine, Suki, Lingling. Hmm. Dylan, let me see. Jasmine. Jasmine! Jasmine! Remember, worst that game has cigar in Soul Hunters. What? Zem, Silphy, Jasmine, Suki, Lingling. Zem? Where is she? Hang on a second, boys. Hang on. Zem, Suki... My Jasmine sucks. Must I work on my Jasmine? C 
Sylphie. And I really, I'm going to take out, I'm going to take him out for now. But I'm going to put him back in, guys. I want to try that dude. I really want to try him, but let's see. I'm a free-to-play player. All right, if you're free-to-play early on, the best tank. Damn, man, that's a tricky question, dude. Because there's a lot of free-to-play uh, tanks in the early game. I must know what tanks you have first before I can give you some recommendation. I must. All right, come on, come on, come on. What the hell? See the luck, dude? The luck is terrible. I automatically died. Which means we are screwed. Which means this round doesn't count. Arclight uses that team, no doubt. No diggity, no doubt. Best tank is Zem for free to play. Uh, there you go, Zem actually does go as absolutely right. Zem is one of the best. Terrible RNG. <laughs> I know I got fucked with that RNG. That's why I said, this one, we're not going to count, guys. We'll just lose this one quickly and start the next one. Doesn't need many stars to become useful. Uh, Zem is a beast. So, Zem, I have to take a look at all the shops really quickly, but... Just thinking about it, Zem is a great tank, free to play. Fallen just comes to mind because he's usable in a lot of different areas, not just arena. Um, think, think, think. I don't know. You got to kind of take a look at all the shops. Just trying to think here. It's hard. Do you think Zem should have an awakening? Um, he will have an awakening eventually, but does he need one right now? I don't think so. I think he still holds his own pretty well. With an awakening, he's probably going to be really good. Um, Petro, Sylphie, Garik, Gorum, Lingling. Petro, let me try this team one more time, see if my luck changes, right? One more freaking time. And I'm pretty sure I have to use Tsuki, right? Oh my god, don't tell me this dude is going to die again. I must use him now or else he's dead. I must, right? I must. I must, and I'm going to let him go all the way there. Alright. I. That was half moon, so I don't think that did any reflective damage, right? Let's go here. Okay, boom. So far, looks like I'm okay, but... Sylphie use every single time. Let's save these ones now. I need Suki with a full move. Oh no! No! Oh! How the hell did that happen? That dude died. Why am I Suki dying so early, dude? I don't get it. Why? It's I'm telling you, I'm I got a good feeling that Petros Petros might be a beast in this one, guys. To be honest. I wanna really try Petros. Alright, I need this now. Sophie again. I'm barely gonna break. Not even 3 mil. 2.5. That's really bad. Best tank. Vincent, Elric, Leon, Namtar, Musashi, Gus, Zem, Drago, you'll think. No! Those are all shitty tanks, bro. The only one that's good out of those is Zem. To be honest. Yeah. Zem is your only chance out of all those guys. The only guys I would even work on is Zem and Yulfang. Everybody else I would not even work on for now. Oh, I still he's the only one. Uh, Vincent, can you show Petros? Elderon, what's up, dude? Petros, I will show you really quickly, is amazing, bro. Wait for the Awakening video. You will see me drooling like a whore. Unbelievable. This dude is so nasty, dude. Oh, wait a minute. I can actually work on a little bit more in his ability here. Reflective damage with his Awakening. In freaking sane. God, this dude is crazy good, man. 20, I got, I can go 20 more here. What do I need here? 20, you know what? I'm just going to do it, yo. Let me max it out right now. Boom, fuck this. Max it out. 40, 1,600 reflective damage. So let's go ahead. Not exchange. Let's go ahead. I'm going to try something, guys. I don't know who to take out. To be honest, but I'm going to try. Let's just give it a shot. Take her out. I'm going to put in Petros instead of Jasmine as a kind of, I don't know, just a tryout. Last time, what's her name? Did all the damage. Sylphie did all the damage last time. Let's see if this will make a small difference here. 
Okay. Oh, I see the difference. All right, so his... Actually, it might not be as good as I thought, guys. Now that I think about it. Not... All right, so in his awakening description, it says that um, Petros will deflect damage that's hit in front of him. What happens is when the clones are coming out, he turns his back. So that could affect how much reflective damage he's actually doing, but maybe not by a lot. So let's see if that makes a big difference here. So we're at one point something million here. Oh, I got to use this now. Oh, Suki keeps dying. What the fuck is the matter with Suki, dude? This dude is a little bitch. This dude is a little bitch. Oh, shield, help me out there. Or else I might have just been dead. All right. Damn it, he's dead. Well, I'm going to do a lot more damage in this one. More than 2.5, so this is going to be my best run, but still not even close to something 6 million or so. Okay. 3 million. Come on! 3.3 million. Still going strong. Hmm. Is Octo a good tank? Yes! Octo is a top 10 hero. I don't know about uh, the best tank. No, that didn't work. Alright, Petros didn't do that much damage. But... So, not... Doesn't work here, guys. Does not work there. So, we might as well go back to Jasmine. And see if we can do better. Use Garik instead of Tsuki. Garik? Hmm. Full Moon with Tsuki. Yes, you're right. I gotta do the Full Moon. The problem is... He's not lasting enough. He is not lasting. Maybe I just gotta keep trying for better RNG, guys. Well, let's keep trying. This is the best team. So trying other stuff is just a try. But uh, this is the best team. Just so you guys know. Let's go. I need a full moon. So that's what I'm waiting for. Come on, Suki. Hurry your ass up. Oh, I'm, I, I don't want to use them because I want to, you know, use multiple... Come on, Suki. What? Oh, there we go. Full moon, guys. Full moon. My favorite ability. <laughs> Not really. All right, here we go. We got the shield right there. Okay. Not enough damage. What the freak, Aliki? All right, let's use this now because I am going to get Shrek here. Okay, all use all abilities. Here we go. Some more damage. Not enough. Still doesn't seem like enough damage. What the... F oh my god. What the... F freak! You son of a bitch. It's just really bad. Use Gorum, Silphy, Lingling, Garic, Gizmo. Four million. That's not bad. Hmm. That's not bad at all. Huh. <sighs> Gotta try something different, boys. I don't know. Take a look at the details here. Still, just Zem does good damage, so Zem is nice in there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, let me think. Let's try. Whoa! Yo, that is the new Sumiko, guys. Holy hell, that's sick. Wow, that's pretty cool. How about we try that? Oh, I want to use her. All right, guys, I'm going to use Sumiko here. That's the legend Sumiko. Seven stars. I'm going to give it a shot because don't forget, Sumiko gives a boost in your magic and your uh, physical attack, so... And plus, doesn't... Wait a minute. Her awakened ability... Uh, let's see what her awakened ability actually does. I'm going to use this now. I have to. I feel like he's going to die. Oh, yeah. The tornado keeps going around. Oh, this is perfect. Right? No! Tsuki died! Are you kidding me, dude? Come on, man. How bad luck can this be? My RNG just sucks, dude. This 
Oh, this Sumiko looks tremendous. Look at the tornado. It's still freaking going. Yo. What? Uh, yo, I think this might be the best. Uh, what? So this is a lot like, uh, what's her name? Sylphie's ability here. Holy shit. Can she be as good as Sylphie in this? Wait a minute, guys. Sumiko might be... Yo, there's double tornadoes. What? What is going on? Those tornadoes keep going around and around. Oh, she's dead. But the damage is actually really, really good. Right? Because they... If I get just better RNG, dude, my RNG just freaking sucks, to be honest. If I had some better luck... Look at the tornado still going, even though she's dead. Wow. That ability is insane. It's actually a lot like... Yo! That is why... Alright, guys. That is why they're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, she is a beast. She died early, I think. But if she would survive a little bit longer, she would have done a lot more damage. I told you a lot of times that you must use Sumiko. Fire magic. I didn't see you before, bro. I just saw you right now. You're absolutely right, dude. I guess the secret is Sumiko, guys. All right. Uh, I'm not going to do it anymore because I don't have time. But that the secret is Sumiko. Absolutely, guys. You need to have an awakened Sumiko to do it. Holy hell, we must finish Sumiko. She looks incredible. And since she's so good, to be honest right now, boy, I must work on my Sumiko. They just, that awakened ability is insane. She just became a really, really good hero. Do I want to go all the way and give it to her? I might. But I don't want to risk a rush. We're going to wait. We're going to wait and see this out. But that is sick. That is really, really cool. All right, guys. I'm going to do one more battle here, and then we are going to Slippy Dippy Banana. All right, let's try that. One more battle, Arena Battle, guys, and then we're going to head over to a little bit of Art of Conquest because I got to go out. I'm going out for ice cream with a bunch of our friends. You know what I'm thinking. Some shit like that. So a lot of people are going out to get some ice cream, so I'm going to be licking it long style. <laughs> I've been told by some of the hottest chicks in our generation that I'm really good with my tongue. <laughs> I hope my mom is not watching. Mom, if you're watching this, I kid, I joke. I'm not serious! <laughs> Alright, how is the battle going though? God damn it, this dude is still alive with a lot of HP, guys. A lot of HP. And the Slippy Banana is Slippy Dippy. Pyaw! Right in the slipper. We gave it to him real good, guys. Woo! Look at that damage. I told you, man. The stream started with Awakened Petro's Amazing Hero. And it's gonna finish with uh, Petro's Amazing Hero. This dude is amazing. I love this dude. Beast status all day long, boys. Alright, baby. That is it for Soul Hunters, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I love you so much. I'm going to hop into some Art of Conquest now. Let's see what's going on in my Art of Conquest campaign. And then, uh, I gotta run. But you guys have been awesome, and I love you so much. Keep an eye out for the Awakening of Petrols. That video is sick. You're going to love it. You're going to see how good the dude really is. Um, but for now, I'm out of here. Let's switch over. No, I'm not out of here. I'm here. Hey, man, stream today? That's somebody asking me so let's go ahead guys so when we left off yesterday we were in the middle of a siege right if you were in tuning for that you know what was happening so check this out some weird shit happened but we ended up getting the castle king of the castle king of the castle but we didn't end up destroying all of them we destroyed most of them but they ended up surrendering the town to somebody else another guild of their own, I guess. Resistance point two, two .0, The resistance, the resistance two point oh. So they gave the, they just gave our kingdom this, which doesn't make any sense at all, because uh, I don't understand it. Why give it to us? Why not give it to somebody else? It doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead, do some quests here, and take a look at what's happening in the research. Advanced. 
let me show you guys what I've been working on on my research so far. It's all out archers, guys. Check this out. I've boosted up all my archers. So, obviously, with Avalon, I wanted my archers to be really good. So, all out for archers. Maybe I should... Oh, I don't even have enough. Oh, my God. That sucks. We need more. And then I'm working on level 22 castle. King of the castle? So, that's the goal. Let's get all these here. My injuries are coming back. This one guy here. So, we are at 126,000 for our army looking pretty good we get the motor there let's take a look at what i'm working with here got some gold got some nice i just bought these a brood mother no not i bought these guys the dead eye shooters here and weirdly enough these guys are humanoid units they're not even dwarven units so that's pretty good i might play this game now yes pete play it it's a lot of fun bro we are enjoying it um let's do this let's do this um, I also bought these guys right here, Dunlords, in the shop. So let's take a look at the shop because it's refreshed. What do we got here? For a thousand? Oh, that's 30% off. What? Limited to Gone. Gone is not even released yet. I've never seen Gone in the shop. Gan, Gone, whoever. So I don't know. We'll see when that guy gets released. How about these guys here? Dwarven. For 2,200 Lenari, I got a good amount of Lenari saved up, guys. But the only problem with these guys is Dwarven gun, uh, Gunners. I'm really waiting to go higher in the tier. So these are tier 8. I really want a higher tier right now. Um, cab, I get the server. Cab, cab, I get the server. We are in server 18, bro. 18. Dude, they're sick. Wait, noob, who, which one is sick? Um, Joyce, how do you Jesus? I love you too, bro. I <laughs> just saw that comment there. Thanks a lot for that. I should have crushed them like bugs. Should have crushed them like bugs. I know, dude. We tried. I mean, yo, the let me sh let me see what's going on in the activity log though, because last time I checked. Oh, oh, this is what happened, guys. Take a look at what happened here. Server 19, scarred the 300. No! Server 18! Server 18! Alright, so we took... Look, look at this. While I was away, I got attacked, boys. Believe it or not. I got attacked by this dude, Soider. Soider. And uh, let's take a look at what happens. Alright, so this dude didn't realize that I was being uh, defended by none other than Legend himself. So he attacks me and get absolutely murked. Loses everybody almost. Let's take a look at what happens. Man, destruction. Uh, yeah. Uh, all level 13. This is insane. Watch this destruction here. They go through this like paper. Literally like paper thin. It's insane. Pyaw! Right in the kisser. And then... Yeah, not even close. I'm like, alright. I guess he didn't see that I was being aided or helped out, which is fine. But then, I go into the activity log, right? And this is... How long ago was this? I gotta go back. The, oh, no, no, no. This this more? Wow, Legend attacks on more people. Because I was... Where was this? Oh! <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? Where have you been, man? I did not even see you there. Holy moly. Uh, were you here for the Soul Hunters thing, too? Did not see you there at all. Damn, what are you doing to these fantasy guys, man? You're killing them. Whack. Wait a minute. Are we attacking fantasy now? I gotta check some of these here because... Wow. Alright, guys. It looks like... My whole team is destroying fantasy uh, place there. But I wanted to see... Damn it, it's, it's gone. Alright, it's gone, guys. Because I went back on and I noticed Legend destroyed all the, that dude again for revenge. And we got another city here. Wow. Hang on, I want to see what's going on. So what is happening? Let me know in the... David, let me know what the hell is happening, bro. 
Are we attacking Fantasy Machine right now? And where is this place right here? Tanis. Only eight levers. Are we trying to take another city? What are we doing? I'm so lost. I'm so lost without you, baby. <laughs> Alright, as my number one team, let's put in only one hero. Which one am I working on now? I, I got... By the way, if you haven't noticed, I got Avalon level 20 there, so he's good to go. Uh, I need to get somebody else level 20. I'm going to go with Varian here. Varian is a great... What the hell did I just do? Great humanoid hero. And then we can go with the tank. Let's put the tank there, and let's put the dwarves over here. So yeah, so they gave us that town, which just expands our our kingdom which is the whole goal in the first place to expand the kingdom become the largest kingdom more quest hubs for all the newer players because quest hubs believe it or not quest hubs don't help legend at all i mean he's his resource camp is insane so he doesn't need the quest hubs at all uh they, the quest hubs is a lot more believe it or not for the lower players to actually level up faster the bigger the kingdom you own the faster the uh, the lower players can, you know, rise. Because check this out, 19,000 experience for one hero. Uh, that gets split in half if you use two heroes. It gets split in three if you use three heroes and then uh, so on and so forth. So, if you are able to do quest hubs with, you know, one hero, which is the least amount of heroes, you are looking good, guys. All right? And uh, I wouldn't be able to do it. Nobody, not, not, nobody else would be able to do it if we weren't being aided by legend so we owe it all to him to be honest <laughs> damn yo i got too many messages here i cannot see them all guys if you send me a message most likely i can't see everything so i apologize in advance i just can't do it guys i just can't do it all right here we go let's see if we're able to do this look at the tank dude shoots out flamethrower take a look because you probably don't notice the flamethrower that comes out of the sides but then it runs out of ammo and screws me over. Why does it have to run out of ammo? I hate that it runs out of ammo. And also, I hate these. I forgot the name of them. But they will freeze up your your troops here. You see how they confuse them? There's one there, one there. They get a little bit confused for a little while. And it's really hard. It's really hard to do these ones with just two units here. I mean, it, it, eventually you end up doing it. But the tank just takes damage there to be honest i wish i just had a i'm trying to think because the tank is a lot you know very equivalent to maybe like a spider level 13 spider which does uh damage i don't know i hate that it runs out of ammo though i wish i had more ammo but here comes the rest of the guys now I'll probably just destroy them and boom one shot kill that's it All right, that's done. And damage calculations, obviously the tank is a beast. All right, 22,000 for that one. That's actually not too shabby, not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and do this one over here. So are we, I'm still confused. Have we stopped, what is this guy doing? He attacked somebody, you cocksucker. Andrea Drago. Level 9, Spiders, and Dunlords. Yeah, that ain't gonna do nothing to you. You know what? I'm going to go in the shop, guys. I want to purchase... I don't know if these guys are good enough. Level 8, though. But whatever. We're gonna do it at the support. Let's go. Level 8. Now the problem has become my gold army. I cannot... I'm over my limit. Once you're over the limit, I can't produce anymore. So here's the trick. I can't produce any more of gold at anything. I'm over my capacity, which means I can only buy them. Which means that in order for me to, to, to be able to do that, I have to... In order for me to produce more heroes, I must put the gold heroes on my garrison troops to be able to produce more. We not FM out of... Wait, Saint? Okay, I, I got... I saw that we won... Wait, the Sanctus? Yeah, Sanctus. Where is Sanctus here? Sanctus? Why can I see Sanctus? Oh, right there. Yes, we own that one too now. That's three cities. 
How are, I think we are at four, right? Yes, so we are at tier four. We will, dude, we are flying through these tiers, man. It's insane. God damn it. In freaking insane. We should be probably like, in no time, it should be at like tier 10. If we get to tier nine, I think we are able to, to, to nominate a king, which will help out. Because the king will actually, uh, the king can promote others to be his advisors and his cabinet holders and all that other good stuff. So multiple people win when you are able to promote a king. You know what I'm saying? You can get bonuses to a lot of people. So we are, that's what we're looking for, I think. Promote king, then that guy will be able to help out a lot of other people. Check loot. What's in my loot? What do we got here? Loot, loot, loot. Coral! Was that you, Coral? What's up, man? Sorry for getting late. Uh, quick news. Um, go, I'm doing an Oricon fan art. We'll send it to you on Twitter once it's done. Ah, I got you, Coral. Oricon fan art. I didn't know that you knew how to draw, bro, but that's pretty cool. Cool, man. Send that to me, man. I, I will love to see it. I'll retweet it for you, bro. All right. Let's get done with this one now. Boom. Okay, there she blows. Um, I did my quest ups earlier, but this is more quest ups. There's a lot more quest ups than we had when I first began. If you guys remember, when we first jumped into blue, there was not even, I think there was like a total of six or seven quest ups. And now, whoa, there's a lot here. There's no way I can do it with this team right now because the tank will run out of ammo. So let's split. And let's put Tiedrin, obviously Tiedrin, a <laughs> great killer. No, what did I just do? Recall. Tiedrin, and let's go ahead and use these new guys that I just put in. And let's use the spider, how about that? Let's see what they can do, guys. See what these guys can do. Yo, Dave! One dollar for you, five dollar for you, five dollar for the screw. But who is the screw? That's what I'm wondering. Who am I trying to screw? Are you hinting that I go? <laughs> five dollars for you, one dollar for you, screw. <laughs> Are you hinting that I go? To the strip club and use that one dollar to screw hmm oh YouTube ah the screwers I got you yeah these fuckers they take 20% dude 20 motherfucking percent yo so what's 20% out of 200 40 bucks 40 bucks goes straight to YouTube for their algorithm I guess I'm gonna take this one because it's blood diamonds I like blood diamonds so yeah, so just for using the algorithm, you must give them. All right, let's keep with Tiedrin here because I'm out of energy. That was YouTube screw. <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> Yo, MDB, what's up, dude? What's going on, man? Where have you been, cuz? All right, let's take this. Noob! I see you, noob. Oh, I got some mithril here too. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so I'm, I gotta finish off these quest up guys. And then I think I'm pretty sure what's happening here. My researchers go back. Ooh, lice. No robbery? Thank you. <laughs> Usually I get robbed. They must not be on right now. Yes. When you get the full amount, it's so much better than when you get robbed, man. So much freaking better. Alright, let's do this here. <laughs> this is a pretty cool mixed team here. Jesus Christ. This aura, let's see what this aura can do. Not really that much damage against these guys because no one dead. But uh, I don't even need it. God damn it. These thir level 13 heroes are these units, 13 units are insane, guys. In freaking insane. But Here's a quick tip, because we just got a, uh, this was a long time ago, I don't even know if I can find the picture, it probably can't, it was a long time ago, but Legend sent a picture on our chat that said, 
how much it actually costs to buy a 13 level unit. So just picture this for a second. Oh, my army right now is over the cap limit, which means I cannot produce any more units. It's only 49. They only let you, they really only give you a few golden uh, units. Like you can only have like three or four golden units at most. The rest you have to buy. So obviously you already know legend is two. Let's see where he's at right now. Like 2.869 million. So obviously he's bought a shit ton of units. At the store, because he's maxed out at level, you know, level 40. One unit, I think it cost him 32,000 Lenari just to buy. So if I wanted to buy these guys, it would have cost me over 30,000 Lenari. Oh, uh, if we go here, it's 7,000 Lenari, cost you 100 bucks, 32, that's times 3, times 4, even more. $400, over $400 for one unit to buy so you already know how many he's bought you can't even just imagine i can't even imagine and then he lends them out to all the new players so they can you know help out with their experience the whole thing is just mind-boggling dude i cannot it's i'm like i'm lost for words because it costs him so much money to get these gold units and he lends them out to like every new player that needs them to help with their experience and i would be like oh my god don't hurt them like literally and i feel bad you guys already know how bad i feel when i even injure one of his heroes and i try not to even use them in any when they when they're about to get injured i do not use them but yeah so if you are barring if you're coming onto the server guys he will lend them to you but please only use them to get stronger do not use them to freaking try to challenge somebody outside of our battlefield don't do it man it costs a lot of freaking money just to let you guys know all right so the quest stops are done here i really don't have much more now hmm i gotta wait for this i have a 23 hour speed up maybe i want to speed this up 23 hours what do you guys think huh that's well that will be all of my speed up man damn i don't know i'm really debating if i should speed this up a lot guys Hey, joining Soul Hunters was wondering, do you think Ember will get an awakening related to the new Flame Medallion skill? Kevin, good question. I think that makes sense, to be honest, but I can't confirm that at all, man. <laughs> I can't say yes or no, to be honest. Cannot do it. Wow, look at these. That's sick, bro. <sighs> the only trick now is... I'm, I'm really thinking about this, guys. I'm really thinking about it hard. These freaking catapults cost you 20 gold army, like, supply count. 20. And I only have 46 total, right? 49. So you can only really have two of them. I already have one. I'm just thinking here. I might do some silver ones instead. Silver. Hmm. For sieging, I'm just thinking ahead of time sieging, I cannot produce any more. If I continue to buy more gold heroes, I can never, I will never be able to produce heroes here or anywhere. So, if I want to do this now, I must use these guys on my wall, right? Use these guys on my wall, and then, god damn it, I'm thinking here, produce more. Maybe I should produce at least two golden catapults, because these are just so much better than bronze or silver. And then buy more heroes. Uh, that's just my idea. Shit. I want my wall to be really, really nasty at first. And then worry about that because... God damn it, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Because what happens is my resources are going to keep building, building, building. Because I'm not going to be able to spend them. The rare resources, you can only use your rare resources for this. For these guys. You can't use them anymore for anything else... For building see this is the trick you know this is the stuff in the game that you really have to uh, worry about so far I've worked a little bit on siege I've worked a lot on my archers the next level I can uh, finally unlock level I think it's level seven yeah when I do my research one more time so 
I don't know, boys. I don't know. Those are the questions that I'm going to have to figure out here. These guys are almost done. Maybe I can work a lot on some silver ones. But these count towards silver. But silver I got a lot of. So maybe I can do silver catapults. What's the difference between silver? Silver is 600 attack. Bronze is only 300 attack. And gold is 1,300 attack. So the difference between silver and bronze is almost double. So if I can have two... And I don't think... And may, the legend... Yo, legend... You can probably help me out with this one, but I don't think they offer gold catapults in the store, do they? Like in the shop here. So that's why I'm thinking all this, guys, is because I don't think you can buy gold catapults in the shop ever. The only way to get gold catapults is through here. But you can't produce them here if your army is full, if your gold troop is full. That's why I'm thinking. I must produce them early, and then I can buy all the troopers. I have silver. Right. Because I don't think they offer gold. I think I noticed that. 14 of them. 14 silver. That is a lot. Because if they offered gold, then you would definitely have like 14 gold ones. So that's why I'm thinking they don't offer gold. They only offer silver. Hmm. But you can really only have two gold. Like, because you're, you're then... Your cap, you hit your cap of, you know, 49. That's all I really have for now. But it, the only way I can get one more gold catapult is I got to put everybody in my garrison troops. All these guys I got to put in the garrison. Can do around 170k. But imagine they all 14 of those were gold. Think about that. Your damage would be doubled. So it would be 340 100,000, which is more than you, that's even more than you need. So I'm not saying <laughs> you're doing a little bit. You're doing more than enough, but that would be even more. So crazy. All right, guys, I just got a text. I noticed that, which means I am overly late. All right, boys, I got to watch this. So I'm going to debate that. I'll talk to a legend off offline. I'll talk to Wack and see what you guys think about that. I'll have to put all these guys in the garrison troops, work on one more tank, so then I can have two gold tanks, and then I can buy more heroes. I can buy more gold troops in the shop as they come along. Maybe that should be... But I already spent a lot buying these ones. Look how many I've bought here. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see, boys. We'll see. For now, I gotta run, guys. I gotta get me some ice cream. Gotta lick it really good. <laughs> No homo. Um, I guess it's going to be a lot of people. My wife wants me to go. A lot of friends. A lot of friends. You know what I'm saying. So, I'm going to run for now, guys. Hope you appreciate the stream. Hope you enjoy it. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys next time, all right? Peace out, boys. Keep sucking it. Long. Whatever. I'm running out of words to say. Peace out, guys. I love you guys so much.